Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to another After Effects tutorial here on Videofort. And today we are diving into the world of motion graphics uh, as we take a look at how to build this energy blast scene. Pretty cool, huh? Um, okay, so we're going to start off by creating a new composition. This is going to be 960 by 540. 24 FPS and I will name it blast main and then we need a new solid and uh, let's call this blast and uh, you can go ahead and make this one white and uh, make it the comp size and hit OK and then right away we need to pre-compose so right click pre-compose and I'm gonna use blast pre as our name and uh, move all the attributes into the new comp and then open it as well when we hit OK. So in the new comp, this is where we're going to be building most of our animation. And the first thing we need to do is to make this into a square comp because right now we have a 69 ratio. So go to the comp settings and make the height the same as the width. So this is going to be 960 by 960. Uh, when we do that, you will notice that our solid no longer fills the entire comp. So we need to go to layer, solid settings, and make comp size. And now we're back. Uh, you want to go ahead and grab the ellipse tool and then draw a circle from the center and hold shift to make sure it's a perfect circle and then hold control to make it draw from the center outwards in all directions. And then from here, we are now going to animate the mask expansion control. So next to your mask, you want to twirl open the controls. And the one we want to animate is this one right here, the mask expansion. So at frame zero, let's set a keyframe. We want to change this value until we can't see the white at all so for me that's going to be minus 737 pixels but that may be larger or smaller depending on your comp size anyway I'm gonna move my marker to one second in my timeline and set this back to zero so we have this animation of just a circle growing from the center but we want a ring shape growing from the center, not uh, a circle. So to do that, we simply duplicate the mask, set it to subtract, and then press U to bring up the keyframes, and then offset the keyframes on the mask expansion. And now we have a ring, just like that. OK, um, so that's the basic blast animation uh, as you can see, this is going to be traveling outward like that. Uh, we obviously need to go ahead now and add all the cool wispy effects and uh, get that energy uh, effect going. So to do that, um, we're going to start off with a rough and edge effect. So right click this, go to effect, stylize, and then roughen edges. Uh, we need to change the border size from 8 to 75 and again this may be larger or smaller depending on the scale of your comp so just make sure you adapt these values to suit your project anyway the edge sharpness we're gonna make this zero so this is gonna look really smoky but uh, we're looking for a more wispy uh, effect so we need to add more uh, we're going to start off by uh, going to Effect, Distort, and then we want Turbulent Displace. And straight away, this is going to look slightly more interesting. I will change the amount from 50 to 100, so it's uh, stronger and uh, we have that wispiness already starting to show, but uh, it's still not enough. Uh, but before we fix that, Let's uh, go to the evolution of the um, turbulence and animate this. And I uh, will do this using an, uh, an expression. So hold ALT and click the keyframe 
and this opens up the expression editor down here and here I can type in time times 250 and what this means is uh, after effects will look at the time and then times it um, by 250 and that will give us the value for their evolution and you can see now this is uh, more dynamic as a uh, sort of more organic rather because it's uh, changing the shape as it grows outward we just wanted to make make it less uniform that's the whole idea okay the next thing we'll do is to duplicate that uh, turbulent displays and then the, we need to change the size from 100 to 25 and that's gonna make it more wispy because now the turbulent displays is affecting this at a lower scale so we get this result now and uh, this is pretty much the energy blast um, animation done we are of course missing the color and that's what's coming up next so create a new solid and let's call this color and hit OK and then I'm going to pre-comp this and call it color pre and I'll hit OK and then in here we're gonna get a fractal noise we can either search for it on the effects and presets tab or we can right click effect noise and grain fractal noise and uh, the first thing we'll do is to change the fractal type from basic to dynamic and we're gonna go into the transform area and put the scale up from 100 to 200 just so we're working at a larger um, noise pattern and then um, again we need to animate the evolution just to give it some more movement so the evolution control is right there I'm gonna press ALT followed by clicking the keyframe icon and I'm gonna type in time times 200 and now we have constant movement and uh, this is good all right the next thing I'll do is to add some color to this so go to effect color correction tint and I'll map the white to uh, let's say uh, a really dark orange something like this and then I will duplicate this layer and map the white to yellow instead something like this and then I'll invert the noise so where it was dark now it's yellow and uh, vice versa and then I can add these two layers together to get both colors showing so I just need to change the mode of this from normal to add and now you can see we have the two colors blending in uh, I need to increase the contrast though so we can uh, see them a bit better and uh, just like that it works so going back to the blast pre comp uh, we need to put this below the blast the the blast layer and then use the blast layer as a track mat for this color so we'll set the track mat mode to luma mat blast and now our colors are only showing where our white energy blast once was and there we go um, now you can see we can still see the detail of the fractal through this energy blast and uh, that might be a look you want but um, I just want the colors only to show through and I don't really want to see too much of the actual shape details so what I'll do is to go to my blast layer and I'll copy this turbulent displace effects go to the color pre and then paste it on my two color layers and that's gonna kill a lot of the detail now it's all just wispy and we have our two colors showing through and uh, it looks a little better in my opinion so there we have it okay um, in my example obviously I have some text right there and you can see that the energy blast is actually revealing the text so to do that you need to go to your blast precomp create a new text layer and type in your text I'm gonna type in video fort 
oops and I will duplicate the blast layer put it above my video fort text and I'm just gonna bring it up and solo it because we're going to be using this as a luma mat um, to reveal the text now we only need to reveal the text um, with one of these masks so I'll remove the first one because uh, the text will only appear after the inside of the ring goes over it so we're left with this so if we use this as a luma mat the text would show up in the white area so we would actually start off with the text and then it would disappear so we need to use a different mode and uh, we just need to invert it basically so instead of luma mat blast we'll use luma mat blast inverted and now when I play through this you can see that the text only shows up after the blast has gone over but you can see it's actually kind of bleeding into the blast so what we can do is to select these keyframes on our mat and then just move them uh, to appear later and that's gonna fix that problem just like that and uh, going back to our blast main we have this going on uh, let me add some color to my text I'm gonna go to layer styles and gradient overlay and we can go into the gradient options and uh, in the colors here we can have uh, for the first color let's pick an orange off our layer and let's also do the same for the second color but let's pick a yellow and um, yeah looks pretty good uh, we can increase the scale to make that less dramatic and going back to the main composition this is uh, what we have here you can see now the blast goes off the screen and that's exactly what we want I will shorten this comp and I will make this start later so around about here or so and I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer go to effect stylize and some glow um, we're gonna increase the radius and increase the threshold and then lower the intensity we don't want this to be too overpowering and um, just like that we have our energy blast animation uh, revealing our text and uh, it looks awesome so that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and uh, learned something new and i'll see you in the next one bye